Hey everybody, in this video we will be solving a problem called zigzag array. So in this question we will be given an array. Here we have array and we have to return a resultant array such that the array formed is in zigzag manner. For example, if we resultant if our resultant array is A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So if this is our resultant array, then how this is array is zigzag. So the relation between the element of array will be A is less than B, B is greater than C. Similarly, C is less than D and D is greater than E. E is less than F and F is greater than G. So the relation, this type of relation in array is called zigzag in this question. So this will be our resultant array. So our resultant array of this example is so uh, 3 is less than 7 and 7 is greater than 4. 4 is less than 8 and 8 is greater than 2. 2 is less than 6 and 6 is greater than 1. So if we look at our this array we got the same pattern. This is the same pattern that we need to create a zigzag array or to confirm that this array is zigzag. So the, our, our resultant array is 3, 7, 4, 8, 2, 6 and 1. So this is what we have to return in our answer. Now let's see the algorithm for our this problem. Okay. First, let me broaden the array 3, 4, 3, 7, 8, 6, 2, and 1. This is our array. Now we will start traversing our array. Now, okay, one thing to notice that the, uh, you know, element at the even position all the even position elements are 3 8 and 2 one thing in common in these you know even positioned element is that they are greater than their neighboring uh, you know elements we had the resultant array of this array was 3 7 4 8, 2, 6 and 1. We can notice all the you know even position element here even position element is 7, 8 and 6 is greater than their neighboring element. 7 is greater than 3 and 7 also greater than 4. Here 8 is greater than 4 and also greater than 2. 6 is greater than 2 also greater than 1. So all you know even positioned element is greater than their neighboring elements so this is our array now what we have to do we have discussed that the even positioned element must be greater than their neighboring elements here even positions are here this this one and this one this is our even positioned element now we will start traversing from index 1 or the first even position element and we have to specify that their neighboring elements must be you know smaller than the pointer element so i this is i minus 1 this is i plus 1 and this is i so i must be greater than i minus 1 and i must be less than oh, sorry i must be greater than i plus 1 and if not then swap them so here the very first condition doesn't satisfy is that i is less than i minus 1 so this condition doesn't satisfy so we will swap them after first swap we got 3 4 7 8 6 2 and 1 now this is our new element new i and this is i plus 1 
now still i is not greater than i plus 1 then we will again swap them we got 3 7 4 8 6 2 1 now pointer is shifted to the next even position element that is here now this is i minus 1 and this is i plus 1 again our so so this condition is satisfies i is greater than i minus 1 and this also is satisfied i is i greater than i plus 1 so again pointer is shifted to the next even position that is here now here now let's update the i i minus 1 this and i plus 1 this now here i is less than i minus 1 so we have to swap them so new array formed is 3 7 4 8 2 6 and 1 now this is our pointer position now i this is i plus 1 this is i here i is greater than i plus 1 so we do nothing and this is our final array that we got after all the traversing 3 7 4 8 2 6 1 also this was our answer 3 7 4 8 6 8 2 6 1 that we got here so this was our algorithm we checked all the even position element and compared them with their neighboring elements if the position even position element is less than any of the neighboring elements then we had simply swapped them and our condition satisfy then move to the next even position element so this is what we had done now the time complexity will be we are just traversing our array linearly so n will be the time complexity and space complexity will be o of 1 we are not using an extra auxiliary space so now let's see the code implementation for this problem so here we have the code now as you can see we have our array here and we have a for loop for traversing and as you can see this one i is equal i plus 2 is you know this specifies that we are only you know pointing to the even positioned elements so now if arr i is less than arr i minus 1 which we had discussed in the you know in the algorithm then we will simply swap these two elements we used a swap function that we wrote here which simply swap you know a index and b index element from the given array so if arr i is less than arr i minus 1 then simply swap both of them and again if arr i is less than arr i plus 1 again swap both of them so this is our you know code then we write this code for simply you know printing our array so if we print them so here you can see we got our output 3 7 4 8 2 and 1 okay let me zoom so 3 7 4 8 2 6 1 this is our output that we are expecting so that's it for this problem and if you found this video useful then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more coding interview problems so see you in the next video